Yo, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy Ty. So check it out. Today we're gonna bust down these charts, man. We're gonna really get into the nitty gritty. I'm gonna let you guys just really get into my mind for a second, man. Tap into the Tyler in their way, if you know what I'm saying. So hey, in the comment section, before we even start, smash that like button, smash that like button, and then go ahead and let one of those big Trey gangs rip in the comment section. So I'm about to pull up my charts right now, man. Um, I'm gonna start off by just analyzing Euro USD. So I just put it over to this screen and let me switch screens. All right. Boom. So your USD. I know I got my big ugly face up there in the, in the corner. This is actually the daily chart. Um, so I'll pull this down so you guys can see on the side where it says this is the daily chart. So you'll see that was the daily chart. All right. So the easiest way to do support and resistance, right? Now, a lot of people are like, oh, how do you do SNR? How do you do SNR? And um, let me show you right here. So I always mark up the daily and the weekly first, but you know, I'm just going to show you the daily real quick. All right. So boom. I could do a different like a different channel but i'm gonna show you where it kind of broke out and then where we're at right i'm gonna make that a little bit cleaner too make that a little bit cleaner you know people have been like yo cleanliness is next to godliness all right so every time i'm marking my charts i always try to put my charts in this sort of channel right here all right i know that gets hella confusing and some people would just throw this line all the way on top of here feel me like this and try to take the whole this whole thing which yeah you can do that as well you know what i'm saying but me i just like to play mine a little bit closer you feel me but still let's just mark this up a little bit like this all right so boom see it's coming down it's breaking through all right so it's almost like bright uh price broke out of a downward channel you feel me broke through now it's coming back in all right so why would that i put this here because this is gonna allow me to see that fresh break for real for real all right, now this is all going on on a daily as well, all right? I just try to make things super, super simple for myself. So since this is a daily and we got this channel going, if price breaks back into this channel, right now it's currently bearish as fuck, all right? And you're like, how do you know that? Well, let me show you. I'll take these joints off right here. All right, delete that joint. Delete this. you like, damn, this thing got his hand on shit. He bored as fuck. Like, yeah, I am, bro. Like, to me, this is really boring. But I, I want to teach you guys, so... I got you. All right. Now, um, I seen that handle chick use that draw tool. I just sucked at using the, the draw tool on here. Let's see. Stay in drawing mode. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to even fucking draw in here. So, um, yeah, I'm not even going to try that because that's not what I'm good at. But if there was a... Where the fuck is drawing mode at? Hide all drawing tools. Okay. Where's like the pen tool at? Okay, I guess this is it right here. Hey, let's get it, let's get it. Easy call. Okay, so right here, right, we got a triple top. You're like, yo, what's the triple top, Ty? What's the triple top? One, two, three. All right, and then price broke. And that's a horrible color as well. So let me do a better color for you. All right, I'll do a bigger line as well. And then I could do, um, let's do red. That's not a good color either. Like a dark blue. Fuck it, that dark blue could work. Okay, so, boom, here's the triple top right here. And mind you, this is on the daily, okay? So, that's on the daily. All right, price already broke through structure. Boom, that's if you would have had SNR right here. Look at this, you would have SNR right here. Price would have broke through structure. So, at the break right here, ooh, I love this right here. I love this right here. Hold on. Ooh, look at shit. All right, so, no, the yellow is trash. Anyway, you can see that, though. All right, so at that yellow break right there, right? Here, let me try to. I don't know why it's not letting me scoot back any. I guess once I'm in, like, drum mode, you can't, like, get out of it or something. Oh, there it is. There it is. All right, there we go. Easy call. So, um, price broke through structure. All right, so in this area, you could take a sell. You'll go into a smaller time frame. You'll be able to sell underneath this area, boom. And then you're like, okay, so how does that sell look? All right, so let me delete some of this off of here. All right, so we're going to keep the support and resistance there. So this is how that sell will look, right? Just like this. Go ahead and do that in green. So you would take your sell under here. All right, you take your sell under here. Boom, I'll put the arrow too. You'll put your stop loss right here. I don't know why that turned green. Okay, I gotta do it like this. All right, you'll put your stop loss right here. 
So stop loss in red, boom. All right, so you're entering after this candlestick. So once it breaks down here, boom, you enter, throw your stop loss up here. So I'm gonna go SL right there. And then right here is gonna say enter. Okay, boom. You're like, so there we go. So that's how you trade that. So now, boom, price breaks to the downside, bang. You go on profit and then you just start using your trailing stop. Boom. Start putting your trailing stop in. Boom. Feel me? So price is right here. Now, I feel like. Okay, let me take this off the chart real quick. All right, so double bottom right here. Oh, come on, guys. All right, I got to get better at this trading view shit. But double bottom right there. So, I mean, I feel like price basically is going to come right here. All right. In this area where this old little support was. All right, so usually price always tries to find itself back to uh, old support or old resistance. Okay, so first target could be here. That's 109. All right, the next target, if that breaks, is going to be 109.3. All right, and the next target, if that breaks, is going to be 108. So let me go ahead and draw that on there. All right, so first target right here. All right. And you're like, why is that? Just because of this old um, support right here. So that's, I'm just saying price is going to go back to that old support. All right, the next target is right here. So let's say it breaks that old support. And then basically, I'm just going on top of these wicks right here. I could make it cleaner for you. Fuck it, I'll make it cleaner for you. But you see how this is like much clean right here? It's just going to hit these wicks right here or where the most wicks are at. So your price will always go back to where the most wicks gather, which is a strong support or a strong, or a, or a strong resistance. Okay? So this will be like the second target right here. So boom, first target, boom, second target, and then right here, bang, third target. If this is a true down, uh, downtrend and you go ahead and write this one out, we've seen the triple top right here. It took that, boom, there we go, all right? So that's a sell, all right? And you're like, why is that? Well, it's in a downward channel right now, all right? And I'm just looking at it from left to right because how I, lead, how I read the market is like this. This is how I'm reading it, from left to right, just like that. Feel me? So I'm looking at the whole overall picture. So let me delete this. So in this case over here, this is what the market is doing. And then we can see that because we're in a downward channel. So in this downward channel, I am looking for sales. You feel me? So I'll be hunting out these tops right here, looking for sales. And this one right here, like you see how you had to hunt, like basically hunt out these tops. Yeah, you could go, basically go from support to resistance, from, from support to resistance, from support to resistance, but just always know the overall trend, you always have to have the overall trend in mind. And the overall trend as of right now is bearish, okay? So that's, that's how I mark up my support and resistance, but I'm gonna take you to a different pair and we're gonna do this all over again. And while I spark this J, and let's really do this shit all over again, all right? So that's how we do that. So now I'm going to go to, um, I don't know, go to Aussie dollar or some or Australian dollar uh, JPY or even Great British Pound. Uh, um, nah, because let me tell you something too. <laughs> All right, so watch this. Um, pair, uh, pair correlation Forex. All right, so I'm about to show you guys a little cheat, right? Now, a lot of these pairs correlate with each other. So let me try to blow this up. All right. There it is right there. I just wanted to get that table right there for you. So a lot of these pairs correlate with you with each other. So right here, as you can see, it says Euro USD and Great British Pound move together, which they do. So here's the cheat right here, right? If you go, um, XXX is gonna stand for anything over on the left side of US dollar, all right? And then USD, so I'm XXX USD. So let's say, Euro USD is dropping, right? You can go look at Great British Pound. You can go look at Australian dollar. Okay, you can go look at New Zealand dollar. Usually, all of those pairs are dropping at the same time. All right. Also, I'm a, I'll, I'll pull it up on the screen too, so you guys can see it. I'll, I'll switch the camera as well. But also, what's cool about this too is not only are US pairs dropping while this is going on. I'm going to put XXX because that could be Great British Pound. That could be anything. And then JPY, Japan Yen on the right-hand side. Let's say all of those pairs are going up, right? Then 
every pair like that is going up. So the market is kind of moving in sync with each other. So why do I use the daily and the weekly? So the reason I use like the daily and weekly is because it gives me general direction of the market. It's kind of like the weather. It's kind of like the weather, right? So what's cool about the weather is you watch the news because you're looking at a weekly forecast. You're like, yeah, well, the weatherman said it's gonna be 94 tomorrow. What do you do? You wear shorts. You know what I'm saying? It, what's the, what, if, what about if the weatherman is like, yeah, it was going to be a minus 21, uh, a minus 21 uh, Celsius. You know, you might want to, what is that, snow? You feel me? So you might want to go ahead and put on a snow coat if it snows, you know? So that's why I read the daily and the weekly. That's just get into my mind. That's why I like the higher time frames because I like to know what's going on for the whole week. Get a general direction of where I'm going to do the whole week because it's cutting out the noise of, the little intraday shit, you know what I'm saying? So let's switch back to um to the screen. So let's say I was to sell J uh, G B P U S D, and then I looked over, and then G B P J P Y were both going the same way. Usually they both go the same way. Now the drop, the drops. Let's say they're both dropping. The drop is different because it's the U S dollar and the Japan yen, so it may not be the same volume, but it's usually always the same direction. So let me switch to this. So that's what I barked up. So this right here is literally your cheat sheet. You could use, you could literally use this shit and be buying and selling both correlations at the same time. Okay, so I mean, it's if this if literally different ways to break the bank, whichever way you guys feel, you know what I'm saying. But definitely we'll we'll go look at this too. So let's go to a different pair. All right, let's go to a different pair. Boom, we already we already got this. I should have made this like a live or something. I think this this live will probably be like way better. I might turn this shit off and just go live and do it live on YouTube just because I talk back to people, ask questions, answer questions and shit like that. I think that would be fun. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Now that's this. Let me go ahead and delete this off of there. Delete this. Oh, I got to... I don't know how to delete these off. There we go. All right, so so that's that analysis. So let's go to uh, let's pick up another one. Go back to trading view. All right. Yeah, let's go put me back up here. But let's go ahead and type it. Uh, Great British pal. And like I said, let's just see if this theory is is correct. All right. So Great British pal, U.S. dollar. Great British pal, U.S. dollar. Boom, that should be dropping as well. Oh look, this market's already pretty much here. All right, so this is like a previous market that I had on here. Pretty sloppy, but fuck it. All right, so now let's look at this on the daily. All right, so you're like, why'd you go all the way in like that? Like, yeah, cause I'm not worried about what's happening in April. I'm worried about what's going on right here. All right, so we already marked this up um, on my break the bank video, but fuck it, I'll mark it up again. All right, so there you go. And as you notice, I got I basically put it like very strong with these strong wicks right here. This is where all the wicks are, are at right here. So I put my trend lines really close to the strongest wick so you can get a really good bounce. You know, usually I'll do it sloppy because I, I know what I'm looking at, but I'm going to do it the right way just so you guys, when you're placing the trend lines, you know, like, okay, you feel me? I don't want you doing them sloppy. I want you doing them the right way. All right, somebody just subscribe. <laughs> Appreciate the sub. All right, so. We're going in a little bit closer. Yes, we could see over here of this. This looks like it's going north. You know what I'm saying? But it's not a buy right now. All right. But overall trend direction, look. I mean, where's the market going? You throw your trend line right there. That where's the market going? Feel me if I throw another one right here. Here, try to put it where the most wicks are at. Really, that's where the wicks are. Wicks has started. And you're like, where? How'd you get that? Well, because look, this is where all the wicks were at right here in this area. And we zoom in that's where all that those little wicks are smacking against that trend line so that's why i place it there so that's the channel we're in right now you feel me so that's the overall direction the overall channel you feel me that we're in on this so this is boom just banking off the top banging off the bottom so when you're setting up your trend lines you're trying to place your trades or you're not your trades but you're trying to place your uh what is this? You're trying to get these candlesticks to fit inside this trend line so you can know the trend of the, of the market. So when we looked at EU on a daily, that was trending down. But was it really trending down if it broke out over here? 
which it did break out over here. You feel me? So it broke out over here. All right. And now it's just coming back into this overall direction of what this this pair was. You feel me? But now we can go back over here and it's saying something different, but we're still selling at the same time. All right. So let me show you. So now I'm going to slap this on top of here because what we're in is a range. OK, or some people call them pendants or you know, whatever one you want to call it. So I'm going to take this out because that's going to make it confusing for you. Bank. All right. So now we're just going to play this area right here because this is what's been happening from December 12th till now, because this is where we're at currently. So, yeah, you may know the overall direction, but then you still have to play it for what it is. All right. So in our break the, uh, break the bank video, we broke down this cell. We broke down why it was sell. We broke down you know how to play these ranges like this this support and resistance range so i'll break it down again for you as well all right so boom you sell here you sell here you sell here you buy here you buy here you buy here all right so let me go ahead and delete all those delete all these just to run it back real quick delete all these boom so if you would have took this sell over here in this area you would you basically still be in the money okay so Hold on, let me pull it. Come on, click on that joint. Bang. Shit, man. Bang. <clears throat> All right, so this is the cell we were looking at on a break the bank video. That's in the money. All right. You're like, how long can I ride this? Who knows? If it breaks out to this, now nah, I can start doing my analysis. So let's say price comes down and it just stops here does nothing in this area then you'll be looking for a buy if it does nothing if it doesn't break through all right if it does if price doesn't smash through here so what's this price um 33.8 all right so it smashed through 33.8 the full break the full breakthrough this whole pattern will be right here which is 129 so if price breaks 129 then we're out of here the first area is going to go is here 128 you're like why is that because that's where the most wicks were at all right, then you're looking for more wicks to hunt out. So it's going to smash past that. It usually smash past that. It could kind of, you know, tap on here, but boom, it'll usually smash through there. And then here's where the most wicks are at again in this area over here. So, I mean, it kind of planned out to be exactly right here, 125. All right, if price breaks through. But, I mean, if it continues going north and it just bounces off the top, then this is what we'll have. It has to break through 131. To know if we're going north the first place is going after it breaks through 131 is where i don't know how to do it well i'm trying to do a fucking arrow no, i don't know that's trash anyway <laughs> it's right here okay first area second area but if it smashed through it this whole area right here so if it smashed through 133 if it smashes through here then we're going to 137. you're like why is that because that's where the most weeks are at so, I mean, that's a little forecast right there. You feel me? On where it can go. So that's that. All right, so then we were like, oh, I'm gonna go check out the the, um, the yen pairs as well. So let me go ahead and pull up the yen pairs as well. So basically all I'm doing is, supine, uh, <laughs> is finding support and resistance and using support and resistance on the daily charts. I didn't even pull up the weekly. I just looked at the daily. I mean, I kind of know what's going on for the week right now, just using the daily, you know, but I'm just using these um, support and resistance to kind of get a weekly forecast for myself to know the general direction of what's going on. Once I kind of know what's going on, it's like, okay, like you got to think each of these candlesticks are one day. So this is, if I was to buy here, this is one, two, well, you can't see, but one, two, three, four, five days, five days of gain. So let's say I just to get in early and I'm just adjusting my stops and I'm literally using this same stuff on the five minute chart and I'm taking multiple entries and I'm just using my stop losses to just grow my account. You know what I'm saying? Like once you find a trade, this is one trade. This is all you need. This right here could literally pay your bills for a month. This could pay your bills for three months. Let me go back. This this right here could pay your bills for one month, for three months. You know what I'm saying? However you however you want to set it up. But it's how you what you do when you find that trade. Go look at the top traders in the world and you'll see, you'll see, man, how these top traders move. You'll see that most of their trades were done on very, very big trades. They went big right here. Boom. And that's all they needed. You feel me? That was all they needed. This little buy right here made them rich as fuck. You feel me? This little sell right here made them rich as fuck. They learned how to maximize that position. You feel me? 
So let's go to um, uh, what was that? Great British pound, Japan yen. All right. So let's pull this up. Great British pound. All right. And you hear th those cars you hear outside? That's the Lambos and shit. They be going off all the time in my building. All right. So. You kind of see the same thing here. This chart looks exactly like this chart, though. This is Great British Pound Japan Yen right here, right? And then this is GU. So look at the charts. I know I got all this stuff on here, but just look at the charts. They're going to mark up the same. Let me show you. All right. So boom. Zoom in right here. All right. Just so we know where this little support resistance is. So initially, this is what's going on. Boom. All right. Yeah, I know I could throw another little trend line on top of here and get the full little shebang sauce and all that but let me let me bring it in a little bit closer you feel me so this is what's going on here but i'm gonna come in down here and get it cracking this way you're like why'd you go there just because i want a tighter supporting uh, tighter snr because i'm playing for right now like you feel me i know the overall direction already so i can just bump delete that off there real quick bang you're like why'd you do that like, I'm just walking you through my process. You feel me? Walking through my process. This is what I do. I take SNR off until I find my spot. So, right now, I'm finding spots for you right now. So, boom. You're like, why didn't you put it over here? Because it just broke out over this initial um, little channel that I was in, which is an upward channel still. You know, this is up. So, just banking off of SNR. All right. Price just banking off of SNR. The tighter you got it, the closer you have it on these wicks, the closer it is so you can actually see what's going on. So, I mean, if we were selling, what, Japan yen? I mean, if we were selling Great British Pound, US dollar, then you were selling this as well. These pairs correlate. These were two sales. Look at this right here. Feel me? Two sales. This was selling right here. Boom, this is selling right here. So they're like, how do you play this chamber, this channel when nothing's really going on? It is. All right, so we might be looking at a fresh break right now. But we'll see. All right. Let me pull out this brush. So this is what can happen. All right, so you will wait. This candlestick closed. So you'll wait for entry. Right here is very strong support. So in a sense, you may be able to buy this back up a little bit. Feel me? It's a lot of strong support right there. It's waking down right now. You may be able to buy it up just as a fucking the market pulls back all right just as the market pulls back because it when it opens it's going to pull back you feel me i feel like people are going to be trying to rush in and clip the bottom of that and buy it up you feel me so it may come back up to this area right here all right for a second so boom well not down because it's already there it already banked off that so up market correction drop past this Boom, drop past these wicks right here. If it breaks past these wicks right here, because these were strong support before. See, this old support becomes new resistance. New re, uh, old, new resistance becomes old support. All right, so it breaks through right here. Let's say it breaks through right here. Bam, it gets to 142, 25, uh, 142, 224. And then it's just, let's say, just hovering in this area right here and does nothing. Then you should be looking for it to buy because that's the pattern. You feel me? until it gets back here and then until it breaks out of there but if it look let me go back and break this joint down real quick but if it breaks through okay if it breaks through this point so boom let's say it breaks through 142 this is 142.0777 but just say let's say it just breaks through 142 all right first place is going 140 all right that's right here that's where the strong uh, support was at, or old, well, new support will be. It would just basically hunt down to support right here in this area right here. See where all these wicks are at. All right, so that's where price always tries to go back to the most wicks. So you could think like a wave, right? Think like a wave, how it just gathers up, like it gathers up and shit. You know what I'm saying? Before a big wave comes and then it gathers up again. So this is just price just gathering up before it makes that move. So boom, that's the first area. Let's say it smashes through there. Then boom, it's coming to 139. All right. Oh, shit, that was kind of ugly. Boom. It's coming to 139. Let's say it smashes through 139. Boom. Smashes through. We look for the most part right here. 138. It's definitely. Okay. Boom. 138. Next area. 135. Feel me? 
So if smart, if price busts through here and really keep moving, then that's where it can come to. You feel me? As a possibility. But let's say it breaks out of this chamber and it goes the other way. Who knows? You feel me? So all we got to do as traders is just sit and wait. You know? So all we can do is just sit and wait. That's it. So that's how I do my SNR. Um, that's how I read a chart. You see, you're like, yo, you didn't even go in on the fire. Like, bro, I, I'm literally the same thing I showed you on the daily is what I do on the five minute, the 10 minute, the 15 minute and the four hour to find my position into the market. You feel me? That's it. So I'm looking for patterns and stuff just like that. So I use this to mark on my chart. I got general direction already. Now I will go into the smaller time frames. You feel me? Fuck it, let me just go into a smaller. Let me pull up a fresh chart and go into a smaller time frame. Because don't talk about it, be about it. All right, let's go to uh, what's another pair? Um, let's do USD Swiss franc. I hated that chart always. So I'm going to do it because this one was always something that's always a fucking lot of noise for me. You feel me? All right, so let's mark this joint up. All right, so this is this joint on the daily. Okay. Oh, okay. So you see I zoomed all the way out. I always like to read it like that. So because it was ugly to me and I couldn't really see what I needed to see, I just did this at a bigger time frame so I can kind of get a big general direction of what's going on as it just bounced through support and resistance. So now I take it off. I put it on there and take it off. I always do that with my SNR. I always try to see what's going on. I get a general direction. So like I said, this... this um, she was always like, I always never really liked this um, pair. I just never traded it. It's like, I love, it. well, I see it stays in the range too. I love that it stays in the range right here. So let me see that it stays in the range. So now let's start putting SNR on this joint. So boom, boom. So we can make that, oh, we can make that much more, uh, bam. Let's fix this joint up so it's not too sloppy. Feel me? Not too sloppy. Boom. Get that shit precise. All right. And you're like, why'd you put it over there? Really, I'm right here. So let me show you. I'm looking at this over here. That's the wicks I'm looking at right here. Feel me? These wicks right here. So that's what my, where my eye is at. So just so people are like, where's your eye at? That's where my eye is at. So, oh, come on. What is this? Okay. So it broke out of this. So we do have a little trend to the downside. Yeah. Okay. So it broke out of that. We do have a little trend to the downside. So let's start getting that cracking real quick. Boom. Boom. You're like, why'd you place it like that? So now I'm just trying to, that's me trying to get a direction. I could throw that underneath it. Right. But look, all that is, is price breaking out. So. Price was bouncing in between this, like this, like this, and then bam, it broke out, came back to retest, came back, came back in the channel again, broke out again. Now it's back in the channel. Re it came back here to retest. Now it's back in the channel again. So, I mean, this is what I feel like price could do at this point. If it breaks out here, right? Let's say boom. I'll be looking for it to break out. I'm a patient trader. So it could be a sell, right? It could be a potential sell because usually you sell at the highest, right? Although, although I will wait, go in on the smaller uh, time frame, and see if it does break out under this area or just look at price. You can look at price to know when you get in. Okay, like you see on the side where it has these little prices where it's like moving, where I'm moving it up and down right here, where it's like you see that 97308 on that side. It's on the right hand side, this little black tab. You can know the price that you're gonna get in already. So you can be like, okay, you can, this is like as a patient trader, let's look, boom. This is what you can do. So boom, you look at it, you're like, hey, if it breaks this point right here, what is this? 97215. So if you're looking for it to break 97215, if it breaks it, boom, then that's when you enter. And then you just set up your trade and according to your plan on however you enter, and you're like, okay, the first place that's gonna go right here, this is where the most joint is, because after a fresh breakout, it usually is about to smack this spot right here. So that is 98208. All right. So that's the first shit. 98208. Boom. So this will be the first target right here. All right, second target is 98.6, boom. Third target is 99, or yeah, 99, boom. You feel me? And if it smacks past that, then 
shit it's hitting a dollar or yeah that's what it is you feel me so boom that's if that breaks out you feel me so like i said i like to mark my shit up like that like that so let's go into a smaller time frame all right i know it's gonna look ugly i hate this chart but i like it. i'll challenge myself on here because fuck it why not all right let's go into a smaller time frame boom 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 use the four hour you see that joint breaking out gathering up right there feel me yes indeed but you still do nothing you still do nothing because you don't really know that's a doji right here bro that's no confirmation for me i don't know what's going on i don't move until after i get confirmation you feel me so let's say price breaks out over here bang i'll be looking for it to break out and be looking for a bullish confirmation in this area right here to let me know that i could take a trade then all i do you feel me is once i'm in that trade for me let's say i get in at what is 97.3 you feel me let's say i get in at that all i do is throw my stop loss right here feel me that's 20 pips right there if i get in at 97.3 boom let me see 97 97.3 which is right here in this area i throw my stop loss back here just in case it false breaks out then it's like oh then i'm that's a false breakout it wasn't real you feel me then i'll be looking for a sell underneath here for it to break and once it breaks boom i'm in that bitch all the way down into this line right here you know what i'm saying so that's how i play that i know shit that's all sloppy right now but i'm finally learning this is my first time using the drawing shit so shout out to uh hannah forex yo i seen her drawing on the drone and i was like damn how the fuck do you draw now i, I know how to draw these drawings you feel me so Somebody had said it in the comments. It was like, yeah, you just do something. Like, okay. So, good looking. You feel me? All right. So, boom. 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 And I don't even like this pair, but I marked it up for y'all. You feel me? And I don't even like that pair. So, I showed you what I would do. So, boom. I'll show you if this, if let's say it's not, and then we get confirmation. Boom. I wait for it to come through. Take that shit all the way down. Bang. Write it out to here. Feel me? Close my position. Bam. If it breaks through, same thing. You feel me? Same thing. So that's a uh, what are we at? Thirty-two minutes. So how to how to find support and resistance in thirty minutes? That's this video. It's your boy Ty, and I'm out. Woo! Knock that shit out though. What's good, baby? What's good, baby?